Welcome to Finance with Avery. In this video, I'm going to be applying for the Apple card. Yep, that's it. That's what this video is going to be about. The simplicity of Apple in a credit card. It's going to be a simplicity of applying for the Apple card in a video. I'm going to apply for the Apple card on my iPhone just to show you the process of it, show you how it goes. I've never done it before. This is the first for me. Maybe the first time you've seen it. You may be thinking about doing it, you know, see what details, what information they want, how quick it is. That's what I'm going to do in this video. So let's jump right into it. And I'll make a separate video about like the card itself, you know, after I start using it, you know, some pros, some cons and review of it kind of in detail. I've been kind of curious about this card since they released it. And then I became more curious about it once they released the Apple savings that's provided through Goldman Sachs, because, you know, the cash back from this goes over to the savings account. You can have that set up automatically if you want. And, but we'll jump into all that later some other time, some other video. But yeah, let's go ahead and apply for the Apple card on my iPhone here. So I'm going to just record this on my iPhone and we'll just scroll back up to the top. We'll just scroll back up to the top for a nice little background on the video. <laughs> All right. So yeah, got the iPhone here. So it's within the wallet app on the iPhone. So just within the wallet app, you're just going to click the plus sign in the top right like you're going to add a card to the wallet or a you know license or an ID or some sort like that. So right there on the screen right there you see add to wallet and you see at the top underneath available cards apply for Apple Card. So let's do that. Apple Card no fees up to 3% cash back on every purchase every day. Apply in minutes to preview your credit limit offer. So let's do this here. I'm going to continue data management. I'm going to skip that part see how your data is managed. I'm when you're online, when you're applying for things online, data data is all over the place. I usually try to select like don't sell my data or don't give my data to third parties and things like that when I have the opportunity to or when I have time to go through the settings of my accounts and things. So, but for right now, I'm just going to streamline the process and just continue right here. Apple Card. Let's check out the rates and terms. I want to see what is the current APR on this Apple Card because I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, there it is, right at the bottom. So annual percentage rate, the APR for purchases currently on this card is between 19.24% to 29. 9.49%. So that range is right there. And that's going to be based typically on your credit score. So if you have a higher credit score, you know, a nice credit score, you're going to get the lower APR. If you have a bad credit score, you know, not necessarily bad. Well, because if you have a bad credit score, you might not even get approved for the car. But if you have a lower end kind of credit score, then you're going to get that higher APR. So it's just kind of a risk basis tolerance that companies do. Not It's not just, it's just not for Apple. All these are MasterCard, which is, that's what this card is through from Apple, through MasterCard. It's not just Apple and MasterCard that does this. You know, Visa does it. Discover does it. It's just, that's how it is basically so if you want the lower apr that's what it's multiple reasons why you want to have a higher credit score so you can get you know lower rates on your loans and your cars and things like that but it just makes the processes easier you'll get approved for more things so on and on but anyways we won't go into all that i need to make more videos about credit scores and also I'm planning on doing that as well so that is the current APR for the Apple Card between 19.24% to 29.49%. How to avoid paying interest on your purchases. Your due date is at least 28 days after the close of each billing cycle. We will not charge you any interest on purchases if you pay your entire balance adjusted for any financing plan by the due date of each month. So that is how you use a credit card. That is the optimal way. You use the credit card, you get the cash back rewards, you know, daily cash, all that stuff from your purchases, and then you pay the credit card entire balance not the minimum balance due not the minimum payment due you pay the entire balance at the due date each month that's how you avoid the interest charges that's the way to do it with credit cards what happens to a lot of people they get in credit card debt is you know they pay the minimum or they pay a little bit above the minimum but they don't pay the entire balance each month and then it just adds up because they keep using the card and then the interest adds upon that and it just stacks up it just stacks up because you see that rate that is a high rate right there 19 to 29 percent apr just put that on hundreds of dollars thousands of dollars that's you know that's more you get typically in the stock market more do you get on high yield savings accounts that's more than inflation even currently but yeah so that that's and that's not just high just because of the apple card and mastercard that's pretty standard right now what's going on you know so yeah let's go back here let's go back and apply for the cards i'm going on a tangent i apologize for that so we're going to go to continue right here all right, and they have my first name, last name, and they want my date of birth, and they already have my phone number. So I'm gonna blur out some things, of course, for personal reasons. So if you see a little blurry sections of the video, that's personal information. You guys know my name, Finance with Avery, and that's my first name. <laughs> so yeah, you may see that, but I'm gonna block out my email and things like that. So right here, it has your information. It says, confirm or update the following Apple ID information with your legal name, date of birth, and phone number, your Apple ID, which is my email address right there, will be associated with your Apple card. So your Apple ID is going to be associated with your Apple card. 
So they have my first name already and my last name already and my phone number. So I'm going to put in my date of birth, which actually as soon as I typed, you know, tapped on the date of birth section, they had my date of birth there. So they know that, of course, Apple, I have an Apple ID for a long time. I even develop apps that are only Apple App Store. So Apple has my information for sure. So let's go ahead and go to next now. And now they want my address. So they have your address. Confirm or enter your residential address for Goldman Sachs Bank USA. No P.O. boxes. And they actually have my older address. I need to change that. So let me update this. That's the thing about moving. It's so many places to change the address. And sometimes I forget. I changed it on the Apple App Store for my apps. But I guess I haven't changed it for my Apple App D. Um, Apple ID, excuse me. So let's change my address here. Got this updated. Okay. All right. They have my current address there. And now it states to verify your identity. So it says, please provide the following information to Goldman Sachs Bank USA. Then they want the last four digits of my social security number and then my citizenship. Excuse me. This phone is... No, I'm not upgrading Apple. Yeah, I have the iPhone 12 Pro and I'm not upgrading. I don't care how glitchy it gets. <laughs> it's probably user error. All right. So yeah, my citizenship is the United States. So it states right here, your social security number will be submitted to an identity verification service for Goldman Sachs Bank USA to confirm your identity. It is not stored or read by Apple. Information you provide as part of this application will be saved on your device for 30 days. So let's go ahead and put in the last four digits of my social security number. Hit next. It's thinking, it's processing. You see the little loading symbol at the top right? Okay. Now it wants estimated annual income. It says to check your eligibility and determine your credit limit, your estimated total annual income is required by Goldman Sachs Bank USA. Annual income may include wages, self-employment income, investment income, retirement income, public assistance, or income that is regularly deposited into a shared bank account. And it states that the fine print at the bottom of it right there says this information is required by our bank partner to offer you Apple Card. This information cannot be read by Apple. Annual income for me, it varies. And it's, it's not really like a set thing for me when I apply for things like this or people ask for my annual income because I have multiple sources of income and some of those multiple sources of income vary. Even my standard normal job varies because of working overtime and, you know, things like that. So I won't get into all that, but have multiple sources of income. <laughs> That's just a little tip I'm gonna throw in here while you know applying for this card. Definitely, it's, it's a great thing to have multiple sources of income. I'm not complaining about that at all. So I'm just going to, I'm going to kind of think here roughly how this year's been so far with some things that kind of vary and just kind of put a guesstimate type amount in. I mean, it's, it's gonna be pretty close to what I'm probably gonna make this year, but we're gonna put this in. Okay, all right, so I have my annual income in. I'm, all right, now it has the Apple Card terms and conditions, and you can view it as a PDF. And there's the information again right there with the interest rate and charges and how to avoid paying interest. So fees for this card, there's no annual fee, no transaction fees, no penalty fees or other fees, it says. And they'll calculate the balance using the daily's balance method. Prime rate variable APRs are based on the 8.50% prime rate as of July 31st, 2023. Apple Card monthly installments. You can do like installment payments and things like that. You make a large purchase. And for New York residents, there's some information right there in case anybody's from New York and wants to see that. You can pause the video right there. I'm going to agree to the Apple Card terms and conditions. I've read that whole thing, y'all. I've read it all. You know, I, I just didn't want to put you all through it through the video. I mean, it's going to be long and boring. You know, I zoomed through it. I read it. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go ahead and agree. Submitting. Submitting your application to Goldman Sachs Bank USA. It's loading. It's Putting my information in, checking this, checking that, verifying this, verifying that. I'm just gonna, gonna scroll on the website here while they're doing it. Oh, submit it. All right. So submit it to Apple and or to Goldman Sachs. And it states right here, I am approved. So you're approved. It's got my credit limit of six thousand five hundred dollars. I got the APR of nineteen point two four percent and fees none. So I got that APR of 19.24% because I have a great credit score. I'm not trying to brag or anything like that, but like I told you, it's important to have a great credit score. I'm a finance guy. You know, I majored in finance. Finance is my thing. I have a YouTube channel on it, obviously. So, and I'm not saying if you do all that, you're going to have great finances. There's been rough moments in my life financially as well, you know, but I learn from things. I get better at things. I get better at investing. I get better at saving. I get better at looking for better rates, this, that, all that. That's what I'm trying to do on this channel is also provide education and information and inform you all and 
and empower you all to make better decisions with your finances like I have and like I'm planning on continuing to do. So yeah, no more tangent on that. I got the lower APR of 19.24% because I have a great credit score. It's around 800, 790. 780 on one credit bureau between 780 and 800 basically my credit score currently so yeah i've had my credit score over 800 before nicely and now i'm just like trying to get back over there again it's treading kind of close goes back some but anyways so that's my credit limit my credit limits i'm not sure what i expected i have credit limits that are higher than that on my other credit cards i'm sure if i keep in good standing with apple and goldman sachs they're going to raise that credit limit not saying i want them to or need them to i don't plan on using you know maxing out this credit card at all i do plan on using it for sure and checking things out but credit limit right there six thousand five hundred dollars so it states that you may be eligible for a credit limit increase over time with use in on-time payments so like i just stated you know if i'm in good standing i don't know if they're going to ask me if i want it to be raised or just do it some cards when I've had it before in the past, I just notice it happens. Sometimes they let me know. Maybe they send emails and I just don't notice them. But typically they just raise, you know, credit limits. And it's just like, you, you've been great. Please use our card more. <laughs> Swipe that card more. You spend more money. <laughs> Here, look at all this money you can use. But don't let that fool you with a credit limit. That doesn't mean that's free money. So, yeah. It also states right here, view your offer, customer agreement, credit score notice, and APR details from Goldman Sachs. I can look at all that again right there on the offer terms and conditions. So at this point, I can either accept the Apple card or I can hit no thanks. So I can go through all that, you know, just say no thanks. But I actually, like I stated, I want to use the card. I want to check it out. I want to get that titanium. Where is it at? I want to, I want to feel that titanium in my hand right there. Goodbye, plastic. Hello, titanium. But yeah, <laughs> anyways. So yeah, I'm going to accept the card. And I've accepted the card and it states get up to 3% daily cash back. Set Apple Card as your default card for Apple Pay and for purchases from Apple. Get 3% daily cash for Apple services, App Store subscriptions, and pop products you buy from Apple. Get 2% daily cash when you use Apple Card with Apple Pay. And so I can set it as my default card or hit no thanks. And I'm going to go ahead and set it as a default card because, like I said, I want to use the card. I want to, you know, see how it works with the savings account and everything like that. I'm going to set that up as well. And I may make a separate video on that just to, you know, so this video is not too long and everything. And I'm guessing you're going to send me a physical card and it'll look like, you know, that right there with that titanium. That looks nice. I mean, I like how simplistic it looks in the etched Apple logo. But, yeah. So they're adding the card to my wallet. Maybe I'll even do an unboxing when I get the card just to show you all. <laughs> just say. All right, so your card has been added to Wallet, Apple Watch, Safari Autofill, and your Apple ID. Okay, the card's been added everywhere. <laughs> All right, it's ready to use and will be automatically selected when you use Apple Pay. All right, and the terms of your Apple Card customer agreement will apply. So hit continue. More ways to pay. Get a titanium Apple Card to use in stores and restaurants that don't accept Apple Pay yet. Get 1% in daily cash for every purchase you make with the card. So if you use the actual physical titanium, I was going to say plastic. <laughs> now let me correct myself. The physical titanium card, then it's going to be 1% daily cash where you spend it. So they're just kind of motivating people and prompting people to use the Apple Pay, the electronic, you know, over the air, tap, all that kind of way of paying instead of with the physical card. But I want the physical card too. So right now I have the option to saying no thanks, I don't want the physical card, or I can say continue. So I'm going to say continue because I want to get the titanium Apple card. So now it just wants me to confirm my address and it states that you will receive your physical car at this address in four to six days. So I'm going to confirm that because that is correct. You have the option to also change the address, but I'm going to confirm. All right. And that is it right there. And you see right there at the bottom of my wallet, I'm kind of blurring out some stuff at the top because you know, you need all the cars I have on here, but yeah. Um, there it is at the bottom. It's the Apple Card by MasterCard. And it's just a screen for the Apple Card. I have a zero balance right now, <laughs> $6,500 available. It has my weekly activity plus daily cash. Got a payment section. We can notify um, when paint when it's time to pay. And it has Apple Card family. I've been reading about Apple Card family. That seems really neat too. I mean, there's so many videos I want to, there's so many things I want to make a video on, like seriously, because Apple Card family seems really neat. Like I'm, I'm very curious about that. So and it has my Apple card has been ordered. You will be notified when your card has shipped and now have to activate it, learn how to activate card and have a promotion, I guess, going on with Nike. Six percent daily cash at Nike ends at the end of the month in September. And it says your Apple card is ready to use. So I can get started using the Apple Pay. So, yeah, I can use the card right now. I don't have to wait for my physical card to come in. And they have the information. Where I guess I can get my card number so I can schedule payments at the top right there. Get daily cash. Check that out. My card details, you know, the numbers and everything and also notifications. So, yes, 
that is that is it <laughs> that's it with the video i just wanted to kind of go through that part and that was simple quick is the only reason why this video is as long as it is because of my few tangents here and there and talking and informing and putting in tidbits of information and things like that <laughs> but yeah all right so that is it with the video on me applying for the apple card provided through mastercard and goldman sachs bank hope you all enjoyed the video take care